You ever just have that feeling like Maverick in Top Gun? I feel the need for pain for speed. Yeah, I'm about there. Spin it. Hey everybody, before we get started, I'm here at beautiful Lake Tansy in Crossville, Tennessee. Uh, need you to do me a favor real quick, see if you can help me out. There's a link below to my fundraising page for the Power 4 Hour. The Power Disc Golf Academy is sponsoring a fundraiser for the Paul Macbeth Foundation to help raise money for a new course in New York City. So I'm going to be doing a disc golf-a-thon on Monday from 8 till 12, as many holes as I can play in four hours. And what I need you to do is help me by sponsoring me. You can sponsor per hole. So if you sponsor a dollar per hole and I play 40 holes, you would donate $40 to Paul Macbeth. You can also do a flat sponsorship, uh, not a per hole sponsorship as well, if that suits you better. I'm going to try to live stream it as well. I've never done that before, but we're going to try from 8 till 12 on Monday. So if you have some time during that time and you want to pop onto my live stream and interact a little bit, maybe I'll do some shots that you call, forehands, rollers, tomahawks. Uh, maybe I'll give away a disc as well. So I hope to see you there Monday the 27th from 8 to 12 link in the description below to go out and sponsor me on my page. Thanks for the support. Let's get on to the video. Hey, DMD family. Welcome back to another Discs MD video. And look what I have in my hand. Yes, I probably held this in another video. I don't know if I've used it in a video yet. I got my tech disc and I've been using it a lot and I've been disappointed a lot. <laughs> um, but I'm going to start doing a series of videos here, uh, testing some things out uh, with uh, speed and nose angle and launch angle and spin, uh, trying testing different things out in the form. So I figured I'd start with this one. My buddy Kevin over at Putting Confidently put out a video and I'll link it up here for you uh, where he tested out a hack of keeping a disc, let me show you, under his arm, right, as he threw. And I think it is to simulate keeping this arm in closer to your body instead of having the sail, right? Where you have the arm way out here, right? Slowing you down. So I figured I'll give it a try and see if we can put some numbers to it and see if there is a speed difference between keeping your arm in or letting it flail out. So uh, I have my tech disc. Uh, I've warmed up a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna create two different uh, sets in my on my tech disc and I'm probably gonna do like 15 to 20 throws each maybe we'll see how it goes we'll see how my arm holds up uh, and then we'll take the averages of the two the first set will be with me just letting my arm go you know as I usually do um, and then the next set will be with uh, the hack of keeping the disc under my arm and let's see if there's a speed difference between the two now the caveat to this and yes I'm making excuses um, I just had a, a lesson with Josh uh, on Friday, this past Friday, so it would be three days ago, and he did something, not, not drastic, drastic, but we changed my form a little bit and how I am coiling, and I am coiling a whole lot more. So I am currently still trying to solidify that form change. So uh, unbelievably, although it feels like I'm throwing faster, I slowed down a little bit somehow. I, I have no idea how that happened. but. Um, I'm still trying to get the form down. I think that's the biggest problem is I'm still fine-tuning the form change. So having that, having said that, uh, I, I think I should be able to get a good benchmark here and let's just get into it. So I'm going to do first set with the arm just normal, you know, coming back open and, 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 and throwing. So let's throw 10, 15 of those and then we'll come back and chat. All right, so there you have it, uh, 15 throws with the open arm. Uh, and pay no attention to the saying 
15 forehand hyzer throws. I guess I didn't have it set on left-handed on my iPad. I only use this usually on my phone or my laptop, but I'm using my iPad this time. So I guess I didn't change it from right-handed to left-handed. So anyway, ignore the forehand. They weren't forehand. They were all backhand. And I can't change the title on this for some reason. Anyway, so I'm going to show you the speed, the spin, and the wobble, I guess. The speed is really where we where the money is for this. And we averaged 52 miles an hour. Um, not great. Again, going through form changes with Josh, so I expect that my speed should start increasing. But I was really trying to keep my arm open and out. Uh, like he was like Kevin was talking about in his video so I could really test the pinning the arm to see what kind of differences are made there so 15 throws at the arm open uh, test so let's go ahead and throw 15 with the disc pinned next to my arm and see if we can increase our speed a little bit so 52 miles an hour is the number to beat let's go All right, so there you have it, the next 15 throws. Again, it says 15 forehand flat throws. I don't get it. Anyway, uh, I'll figure this out sooner or later. The most important part is uh, the stats for the second. Uh, tucked, arm tucked, is the average is 55 miles an hour, so I increased my speed 3 miles an hour. Um, so... And definitely an increase in speed. The variableness uh, between the discrepancy between both sets was five miles an hour, right? So the last time I had a minimum of 49 miles an hour and a maximum of 54. This time I have a minimum of 52 miles an hour and maximum of 57 miles an hour. So again, there you have it. Take it for what it's worth. I mean, keeping that arm tucked in, as we all kind of suspected, keeping that arm tucked in as you're throwing is going to help you increase your speed. Um, results may vary. I tried to keep this as standardized as I could. I didn't try to throw harder the second round. Uh, I tried to keep the same walk up and, and the same amount of effort for both, for both sets. So a three mile an hour increase for the, the arm tucked. There you have it. Uh, keep that arm tucked, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, put in the comments, what other things you want to see me do with the tech disc? What other thing, uh, little tips and tricks and techniques you want to see uh, compared using tech disc? Uh, I'm going to improve, you know, try to keep improving my game by using that and, and, and modifying things here and there to see if they help increase or decrease. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. So thanks for joining along. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for all the new subscribers. I know Yanni from Spin Doctor got me a whole bunch of subscribers. So I hope I live up to the expectations uh, and chat with me in the comments and, and, and let's get this thing going. So until next time, enjoy the journey and here's your verse of the day.